conversation. So first, Kiari Zero. Um, I know you worked under the guy who kind of wrote the book on this all a little bit, but um, does it need a syrinx and does it have to be a syrinx in a particular part of the spine in order to be considered Chiari Zero? Yeah, that's a really fascinating question. So Dr. Oaks, who was my mentor in fellowship, he indeed wrote the original article describing Chiari Zero. And, and like we were just talking about with 1.5, Right, Chiari zero refers to a condition where the tonsils are actually in normal position. So they're not outside the, the skull at all. They're right, they're right at, the, at the normal spot. But nevertheless, if you look at those at the, at the axial cut, you know, cut like this, that, that frame of magnum is full of stuff. So the, the, the cerebellum, it's still filling the space. Even though the tonsils aren't down, they're still filling the space. And that leads to uh, problems with CSF circulation and then a syrinx. So as originally described, Chiari zero refers only to a patient with syringomyelia, so with fluid within the spinal cord. I didn't talk about this earlier. We talked about the symptoms of Chiari, but fluid within the spinal cord, syringomyelia, is almost always something that we would recommend surgery for. That's because it's, it is, there's a high likelihood that if you have syringomyelia, you will progress to having neurologic symptoms or deficits. So problems with hand function, problems with gait, all kinds of different troubles can occur because of syringomyelia. If they happen, they don't often get better with surgery. So our job is to, to treat you first so that the syrinx goes away before you develop symptoms. So back to that Chiari Zero idea, if you have a very full frame and magnum and a syrinx, we can do an operation, decompress the frame and magnum, make more space, and that syrinx will get better. Now, can you have Chiari Zero without a syrinx? That is a more controversial question. In my opinion, if you have a, if you have tonsils that are in the normal position, but it looks like the frame of magnum is full, and you're having symptoms that are very typical for Chiari, so like terrible posterior headaches or sleep apnea or cranial nerve dysfunction, I would think that that's a good, a good indication for, or at least to consider a Chiari surgery, even though the tonsils are, are you know, essentially where they belong. 